Look, the cutest thing you'll see all day. Hamlet staged by children. Oh, so it has taken root. What's taken root? As I recall, when we were growing up, this theatre didn't welcome kids. You've forgotten, John. Come to the back entrance and I'll refresh your memory. Yeah, I still see nothing. You need to focus, my dear friend. Watch me. Here was our glorious stage. Ring any bells? Oh, we don't need to dwell on the past, Sherry. And Hamlet's mother, Gertrude, taking poison. What was the name of that girl? Oh, uh, Georgina, of course. She was our neighbor. Oh, I remember her. She liked you. there you were, the best supporting actor. My silent scene partner, my Yorick. Your presence inspired me and brought me to tears. Yeah, it hurt to know that's all I could be. Inspiration. I couldn't even play the king's ghost. How's that for irony? To be or not to be? <laughs> Indeed. I know why you wanted to forget. The show forced you to confront your limits, except no one else would ever see you but me. Why do you think I cried? In the end, the audience was thrilled. You can still hear their roars after the final act. You were so pleased with yourself when the theatre director came down to admire your work. He applauded. A huge gesture from a man for whom children on stage was an anathema. One small step for a man, one giant leap for students of the dramatic arts. Childhood is a time of naivety. I cannot now imagine seeking a career as an actor, drinking wine all day and gaily treading the boards at night. Yet you often pretend to be someone else in your search for the truth. You can't act like this side of you disappeared completely. Quite. This above all to thine own self be true. 